What's up everybody, Plano Trade and Exchange here, coming back to you guys with another big submission. So I've got some cards here from CGC and PSA that I wanna go through, as well as some regrades that I got from uh, Beckett. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through those Beckett uh, submissions because uh, again, I mean, I think I've already put my point with Beckett and their grading services and how inconsistent they are. Uh, but I kinda just wanted to show some more to reiterate. So here I've got my Judgment Dragon. Uh, it previously got a BGS 8.5 and it got a nine at PSA, which I agree with. So I'm gonna go ahead and move along and just kind of show y'all. Um, Summon Skull, it's not faded. I do have a faded copy in a Beckett nine that I don't wanna remove quite yet, but uh, this one got a Beckett nine and it got a PSA nine. So that was kind of expected. Uh, hoping for a 10, but not quite. This also got a Beckett nine and then converted to the PSA nine, so. Pretty happy about that overall. Uh, next, this one actually didn't get an authentication, or yeah, they said that this card wasn't, uh, it was marked at Beckett initially, and then I resubbed it, and it got a PSA, or it got a BGS 8, and got a PSA 8 with those guys. There's just a lot of waxing and where you can kind of see it on the back there. Um, but I just wanted this one slabbed up, super iconic card, and uh, glad it's in a PSA case. And then last but not least is DD Warrior. They gave this a Beckett 8.5. I don't know how or why, but yeah, um, not super happy with that grade because it got a PSA 9, which I think is a lot more fitting for the card. Okay, now on to the CGC cards real quick. I have some misprints and faded cards uh, that I'll run through real quick. So got the totally messed up ink version of Blue Eyes. See, it's got misaligned foil, which is kind of a funny error. Then I've got a super hollow bleated blue eyes. Check that out. It's as fade as they come. So see the insufficient ink uh, marker there. Then I've got a faded uh, wavy first ed curse. I thought it would do a lot better than a 7.5, honestly, but it is what it is. Um, these, these cards will be for sale and so, unless I say otherwise. There's a nice glossy uh, print line, uh, Curse of Dragon. Honestly thought this one would pull at least a nine, but that's all right. And then here we got a wavy faded poly. So there's that. And then got a few more here. Got a faded wavy uh, Monster Reborn. You can see the name is a little bit is it a little worn? Kind of a little bit, but yeah. Beautiful card. It got a five because it's got some denting on the back. Oh, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, and I believe that's water damage, which is pretty generous of CGC to give it a five, honestly. So yeah, that'll be for sale. Beautiful card. Um, next, we got Fluid Summoning Dragon Max Fade. Uh, it is, is it wavy? It's like 1.5 print, but yeah, pretty cool looking card. Uh, not, not sure what I'm gonna ask on these, but you can message me on Instagram. Next is the test error print card. A uh, little disappointed this got an A. I thought this would pull a little bit higher of a grade, but all good. Next is the tin, Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's got an elevated name. The 7.5 is probably from, uh, where is it? It's got a factory line going down the middle of the back. You see that? And I'm pretty sure that's why I got the 7.5, which is unfortunate. But that one I am going to keep. Uh, this one I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. This is a Max Faded uh, Thousand Dragon. I mean, look at those stars. They're like totally blended in the circles there. But yeah, beautiful card. I actually picked this up uh, at a card show. It was a Beckett 7.5. And Beckett is just inconsistent with their grading. And so I actually picked it up for 130 bucks, knowing that it was near mint and probably misgraded because of the fading and I was right so I got a CGC 9 and uh I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it though I would uh want quite a premium on it uh but yeah just reach out to me maybe it could work out something I might I, I would probably settle around 500 on something like that uh just because of how uh great a demand faded cards are at now and here's a max faded uh trihorn I don't know how it got a 9 this card was pristine I actually cracked it from a PSA 8 suspecting that the fade was causing a uh, uh, a trend, a down, what, a, yeah, a lower grade. 
And uh, there was nothing wrong with it. So, I mean, I think, I don't recall what, yeah, I don't think I recall anything wrong with it. Um, so I don't know why it just got the nine, but beautiful card. I do plan on keeping that one. Next is not quite blue, but kind of light purple, almost pink flame swordsman. As you can see, it does have some foil scratches. Those are on the card. Those aren't, um, and, and it does have some denting and wear and whitening. I really just got it slived up and uh, I'm kind of wanted to sell it and see if it, or I wanted to grade it, see if it would grade above a seven. Uh, I think that was wishful thinking. And uh, looking at it now, I probably, I wish I would have just kept it uh, ungraded and sold it as is, but I don't know if I'm gonna sell this yet. Uh, I mean, this is a really sick copy of that card. Those are super hard to come by. Uh, Raw, I did had a hundred, I did have a $180 offer on it and I refused that one. So yeah, we'll see. And the next is a faded uh, SDK. So that's gonna go to my faded SDK collection and then a foil shift uh, SDK first ed. You can see it's kind of shifted upward a little bit. Poor grade, but uh, yeah, I uh, it is a misprint. So I decided to get it slapped with CGC. Though thinking about it now, I might have been done better just keeping it in a PSA slab, but moving on. So let's go on ahead to the PSA grades. I'm just gonna kind of go through them real quick. So here's a original print Jinzo. I got a nine. A reverse secret Jinzo, nine. Thought that could pull a 10. Uh, I subbed this one because I thought I had a chance, but got a nine. Uh, Mika, Mika Zukuni, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but this is a go to my personal collection. I love my tournament pack. Rares and Commons, uh, OG Bruster Blader, PSA 10. Guilford the Legend, got a 10. Love those structure deck cards. Uh, Stratos from Shonen Jump, unfortunately got the nine. I really thought that could pull the 10, so that's bad. Uh, got lucky with the uh, Delteros. I actually had this in my bulk and thought, you know what? This card is in pristine condition and I think it could get a 10 and it got a 10. Uh, nine on the 10, Lord of D, uh, that was expected. Uh, this one I was a little disappointed in, got an eight, uh, but it did have quite a few foil scratches on the front. So it is what it is, but I don't know if I'll sell that one or not. Um, probably will, cause I do want a higher graded copy. Uh, Ultimate first bladeage from Elemental Energy, that got a grade. I have a few SDKs here, there's a seven. A nine, there is an eight somewhere, uh, somewhere in here. Uh, BPT03, this one was like minty mint, so pretty unfortunate that I got the nine. I might crack this and sub it elsewhere. I don't quite know yet. Uh, let's see, Rampart nine. Thought I had a chance at a 10, but knew it might get the nine instead. Exodia, this was a 10 candidate, got a nine, oh well. I thought this was also a 10 candidate. This is an OG uh, print. I don't really submit reprints uh, to PSA, but that will also be for sale. A wavy uh, first swordsman, big card. Thought I could pull a 10, but got a nine. So all good. Um, that'll be for keep. Uh, Dragluon uh, got a 10. I think I have another one in here that got a nine. One of the cards I'm most excited about is a uh, I love my commons, Guilty of D-Knight, got a 10, so not a super valuable card, but still a really cool Joey card. Uh, Euro print, that's Talos. Look at that foil, man, look at that fire pop. Mm. Uh, but I got an eight, it's because it's got, yeah, it's got some, you can kind of see a little bit of the wear right there going down the middle, but I think that's why I got an eight. Uh, Glossy Gaia Champ. I believe it just had some surface scratches on the front. Other than that, it was pristine, so I think that's why I got an eight. Uh, gonna crack this. Uh, oh, these two were, uh, yeah, these were tragic. So, seven chaos emperor dragon. I'm gonna crack and try to resub this. This that is harsh. I mean, it's skinny at the top, but it's not. Oh, that is pretty thick. But yeah, uh, I bought this. It's basically pack fresh. And I knew it was gonna get not I knew it wasn't gonna get a 10, but a seven is harsh. I was hoping at least for a nine. So this is gonna be cracked and probably resubbed elsewhere. 
uh, along with this card, which I was super surprised about. This is Pack Fresh 2, and I don't know. Wait, is that a dent? Oh my goodness. Did I dent this card? I didn't do that. What the heck? Um, okay. Whoops. That is a big bummer. I'm gonna have to look at that later. But yeah, super disappointed about that one. Um, it's Kermino's. I was hoping for a nine on that. Not quite. This, I just wanted slabbed up. I mean, look at this. Gorgeous card. So yeah, that's just for keep. This is also for keep. I just wanted it slabbed up. A seven Judgment Dragon. That was pretty generous because this card's got, I mean, look at that. It's got like a little dimple on the front and a bunch of, bunch of wear you can kind of just see throughout. So I thought it would get like a five or a six, but I'll take a seven. Uh, that will be for the personal collection. Uh, Jump Blue Eyes Ultimate, a nine. Beast Call Dragon, this is the original print, got a nine. Thought it was a 10 candidate, but it is what it is. Uh, of course, you've got your cards at PSA. You got those few cards that get their random, out of nowhere, low grades, and that was this King's Knight, which was pristine when I, oh my goodness, what is this dent? Bro, you're kidding me. That was not there prior to submission. Man, that's a bummer. Oh well. Uh, Time Wizard, uh, OG print. I don't. Yeah, again, don't. I don't submit uh, reprints. Bummed about this one. This got a nine. I had a lot of luck last time with the the God set on those, and they all got tens. But well, oh well. Uh, OG print, uh, left leg, uh, and I did another left leg uh, that got a ten. Pretty nice. Wavy lowered name, uh, right arm. So beautiful card. Uh, I, th I was actually pretty happy about the seven. I thought I would get a six or a five because I thought there were some, yeah, see, there's a dent right up there and, uh, they still gave it a seven. So thank you, PSA, um, Serpent Knight, uh, it's OC, but otherwise super clean card. It's all good. And then finally, after like literally maybe 20 LLB Blue Eyes White Dragons, see, I got original prints right here at nines. And then a 10. So yeah, these are all gonna be up for sale. So pretty happy about, about that one. That's a big card uh, in a 10. And then uh, one of my favorites is from uh, the Blue Eyes from the Legendary decks, I believe. Got a 10, so that's a keep. Love that card. Um, Mega Cyber, nine, super unfortunate. I don't know why I got a nine, it was pristine and I didn't think it was that OC, but PSA thought otherwise. And then one of my favorites, PSA 1, <laughs> SDK, that's a keep. You know, just love my blue eyes cards. Uh, oh, and there's the SDK 8. Okay, got a quite a few more. It's about halfway through the PSA sub. Moving along, Metal Morph, 9. Uh, a 10 on Skull Dice. I think I'm going to keep this actually until I get the whole set. Uh, as a 10 and then uh fortunately this got a nine uh there's a few cards in here i took a risk on thinking they can get nines even though they're low value cards but uh i would say i won half of them and lost half of them but you'll see uh this goblin attack force is one of them i thought this could pull a 10 it got an eight just a junk slab here's a big card that i was hoping for a nine first dead demock and it got a nine so that'll be a keep love that card and here's my other Judgment Dragon, uh, and this got a 7, or an 8. Uh, I think it's just because it's got, it's really OC, and there's a few minor, minor surface issues on the back, so. Man, look at all those thumbprints. Those ain't mine. Uh, I just opened these about 15 minutes ago. There's my other Deltaros, I got a 9. Uh, here's my BLS, again, $5 card, and didn't get the 10, so... Junk Slab, kind of, we'll see. Um, Fiend's Call Dragon, I was hoping it could slip the 10. Maybe I was a little too optimistic there. Yeah, it's that's a thick, that is a thick boy right there. 
but I got a nine, so oh well. I really thought this could get a 10, but now that looking at it now, I don't know what I was thinking. That is pretty OC, but I got the nine. Uh, next, I got Alpha and Beta, tens, but nine on Gammas. So PSA did not help me out there. All good, so I plan to keep the Alpha and Beta until I get one more Gamma as a 10, and then I'll sell as a set. Uh, next, Valkyrion. Got a seven, this is from Retro Pack. Uh, this one just had quite a few surface scratches on the front. I am, I think I am gonna sell it to try to get a higher copy. I also just am, am kind of fallen out of love with the Magnet Warrior set, but we'll see. Um, 10 on Serpent Knight, or Sinister Serpent, so that's good. Uh, sad about this one, cause I got an eight, and I thought I could pull at least a nine, even a 10, so. What is that? But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like there was a dent, a little dent up there. I don't know. Oh well. This card is pretty happy with this card because this is a slight fade. Um, this looks like a 1.5, almost a wavy print of a SDY uh, Dark Magician, and it got an eight. So pretty happy about that. It had some minor back issues, but I didn't think it would uh, grade that high, so pretty happy about that. I uh, thought this was get at least a 910, had an eight, so lost on that one. Uh, I might just sell it as it is. Um, Euro, Ulti, Unlim, Dark Bright, super beautiful card, got a nine. That is gonna be a keep, dope looking card. And now some cards that I rolled the dice on thinking they can get 10s and failures. So, Solemn Judgment, OG Print, 8. Ragaki, 9. Trapol, 9. Again, Mint. I thought they were perfectly centered. Wouldn't submit them otherwise and failed on those. Uh, as well as this one, uh, this Monster Reborn. But, eh, 9 on Monster Reborn isn't that big a deal. And then I won on one of them. So this got a 10. This is our original print LOB. Uh, let's see. This one, pretty sad about. I had about four or five of, the, five of these, and this one was the best shape. So a nine is kind of saddening. Uh, another sad card. I don't know why. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah. This is a foil bleed Yada. It got an eight. Obvious. I'm surprised it actually got an eight looking at the centering. I mean, look at that. Super thick top, super skinny bottom. Hard to see. You can see kind of the foil bleed, but yeah, I held on to this for like a couple years and thought it could get really high, but it is what it is. I still, I still might hang on to that though. That's still a neat card. Uh, cards I took a risk on that failed. Five-headed dragon, not total failure. Still sell at a premium in a nine, but that one was unfortunate. But that's okay because I submitted two, and one of them got a ten. So that's my gem. Keeping that one though, because five headed dragon's dope. Skull Guardian, keep. Um, got a nine. That's all I really wanted on these TP cards. Euro print water dragon. Nine. Look at this guy. Gorgeous. My goodness. Keeping that. I already have an English PSA 10. I actually graded two of those. So Messenger of Peace, nine. PSA hates Messenger of Peace. Maybe because I don't know. A dove is looking at you kind of kind of suspiciously. Look at that. What you want. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yep, took a risk. I mean, not really a risk. Like, I thought this could get a 10 easy. There was absolutely, this was a gorgeous card. And you say hates me, I guess. I don't know. Not really, because I got this in a 10. Gorgeous card. Look at that. I mean, I like the Euro print of this better, but Amaterasu. Such a cool card. And then, uh, let's see, Tin B Skull, got a nine. Pretty happy about that. I wanna say it had like two, one or two minor surface waxes, waxing materials on the front and still got a nine. So pretty dope grade. And last but not least, the big one, my PSA 10 Sacred Phoenix. Can't tell, I think it's Euro, I don't know, but absolutely gorgeous card and one of the key things about this whole thing, well, not key thing, but interesting things, is that I didn't get upcharged for any of these cards. 
So on PSA's website, it says it's a pop 10. Uh, I was told on Instagram it's a pop 12 because two were, um, two of the cards, two PSA 10s were not listed as ultimate rares and when they, they were listed as ultra rares instead of ultimate rares so two of those are actually that are listed as ultra rares that are ultimate rares do need to go on the pop so it's really pop 12 but uh on psa's website it says that this card is valued at 3500 dollars, and i didn't get upcharged this is a 15 dollar value submission and i got upcharged for none of these cards not even the lob 10 lob psa 10 blue eyes which can easily fetch a K. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what's going on at PSA. Maybe they just don't really care about the values or they see their, their Yu-Gi-Oh cards and maybe they're all worthless to them. And they just don't, uh, I guess they just don't care to look up the grades or, or something. So yeah, uh, no upcharges. So I, I just paid the total of, I think this was 84 cards. I paid between shipping there and back and the whole submission, it was about $1,400. Uh, but totally worth it. Um, I've been offered two and a half K for this. I don't think I'll take that because this is such a rare, beautiful card, but uh, we'll see. So anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope to get you, to y'all back here in hopefully a month or so. Uh, I did submit a uh, submission this week, and they've been pretty fast. I got this whole submission back within two months. I would say it was maybe eight or nine weeks that I submitted this value submission and they got back pretty fast. So hopefully I'll get that other one fast. I have some, I have a couple other cards in that submission that aren't mine, but are my first co-submissions. And I'm excited to see what those get. I think those will do pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for uh, checking out the video and have a blessed day.